Hello, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about doodling with noodles. And here I have a very delicious little bowl of noodles, just waiting for something to happen to them. If you remember, my noodles are strips of fabric and they're cut one and a half inches wide. So I've been cutting these strips one and a half inches wide. Usually I cut them right the way across the width of the fabric, so I know I'm going to get somewhere in the region of 42 inches in length of noodle. Um, by one and a half inches wide so that when we sew them together we end up with one inch finished strips and um, which is a very pleasing size and uh, with the aid of a sewing machine of course we can turn our noodles into something particularly delicious so I'm going to show you today rather than um, make you watch me do loads of quarter inch seams I've already sewn some strips together so I'm just going to show you how to make a simple block and this is what I've done so I've actually got five strips here so the block finished cut out sorry unsewn will be a five and a half inch it'll measure five and a half inches across because I've got five strips plus my little quarter inch each side of the seam allowance and because I want my blocks to be square I'm going to be cutting them so that they're five and a half inches in the other direction as well um, so I've made some blocks um, like this where I've got my dark in the middle and my lighter ones on the outside and here I've got some strips that I've already sewn together, as you can see, where I've actually reversed those colours. So where I've got the dark in the middle and the light on the outside, here I've got the light in the middle and the dark on the outside. And I'll show you shortly how much difference it can make as to where you place colours and things. So to make a small quilt I needed to have two lots of these strips sewn together. So I've made both lots of strips. And I'm going to lay them on my board and use the markings on my board to help me cut the five and a half inch blocks. So this is a five and a half inch wide strip, as is this one, um, by the full width of my fabric. I'm just going to lay them on the board and I'm going to cut them both at once because I'm a little bit lazy like that and I like to do all my cutting as quickly as possible. And I'm, so instead of laying them exactly on top of each other, I've staggered them a little bit so that the seams are sitting over the flat area so that you don't get a double bump because that would cause your ruler possibly to slip around a little bit, which is not helpful. When you're sewing long strips together with your quarter inch seam allowance, you just need to be a little bit aware that they tend to want to, one wants to stretch and so it can sort of curve a little bit. So just be aware of how they're feeding through on your machine. And when it comes to pressing them, same thing. Um, just press them so that they seams sit towards the darker color in general. And also so that they maintaining as much as possible of the straightness that you are after with the blocks. So now I'm just going to cut up for you so you can see I've got both strips, one on top of the other, but staggered so the seams are not on top of each other. And I'm just going to trim off my ends. And then I'm just going to come along five and a half inches, markings on the board. And I'm going to cut two blocks at a time. Pretty cool. And I'm going to go all the way along here this is where these big boards are really great because you can just walk all the way along cutting lots of nice things out so I've gone as far as I can go on my board now so I'm going to pick them up and just bring the rest of the fabric because I should get another block out of what's left there I'll bring it back to the beginning here and I know that I can get one more block out of there so I'm going to come along the five and a half inches again. So out of a block, sorry, out of a strip the 42 inches wide there's going to be a little bit left over but I can get, I think it's seven, um, seven blocks along that length because they're five and a half inches. So you can see this is the block I started with and this is the block I've now got so the colours are reversed. Um, so what I've cut them out for is just to make a small quilt which I can show you. Well I'll show you first of all the layout that I'm going to use with these blocks that we've just cut. So I'm going to turn one block one way and then I'm going to turn the next block the other way. And that's that's kind of all it is, we're just alternating the direction of the blocks. And on the next row you alternate again the other way. So you'll end up with this delicious looking little quilt. You might of course choose some completely different colours. So 
so just alternate all the blocks and you get this very nice sort of um, almost a, a basket weavy these these ones start sort of weaving under these ones going over that way so it's quite a, a fun little block to do you can do different things inside it oops did we have any more blocks no that's as many blocks as we've got we're going that way that's why so to me that's a really nice little pleasing quilt I really like that little stripe that I've got in there and I love dots so we're doing really well and I'll show it to you now I've made it up into a small quilt top as I said earlier with the reversed colors so that my light and dark are reversed so this is the small quilt that I've made so the blocks here I've got the light either side and that dark down the middle but that green has stayed constant in both of them so I just thought I'd show you just some quick ideas of doodling with noodles because I find them so much fun um, and this is a really pretty little quilt and um, you could put all sorts of different colors and things in in your strips and make it a very effective look so I think that it's quite interesting how it can look quite different with the two different um, just those two colors swapped around and that's the only difference in those two designs um, so that was my little doodle with noodles today thank you